All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm at, can you believe it, the Monaco Yacht Show. Monaco Yacht Show 2019, I'm finally here. Came in last night on the train from Italy, and I'm here and I'm so excited to be here. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick intro to let you know because you've probably been looking at my channel and thinking, where's the, where's the stuff? Uh, I'm a little bit late, couldn't get here at the beginning, but I'm here now. Uh, there are some amazing boats in this year. I'm so excited to actually get into the place. At the moment, it's I've got here so early that they're not even open. So this year what they're doing is that from nine o'clock to 11 o'clock in the morning is for press and then the rest of it is open to the public. But it's it's eight o'clock and I, and I got here so I was so keen to get here, but I can't even get in yet. So I came to a public area, uh, this is on the seawall and you can probably see behind me already that there's some amazing boats out here. So let's take a quick look. So what have we got? Well, you can't see actually. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing this on my phone because I just got here, and uh, there's oh, you, you'll have to take my word for it for now. But the boat over here, the big one, that's an octopus. You can see it out there. So she's for sale. She's probably the most high-profile boat that's here this year. Um, she's a 126 meter. She's a Lurson, which is my favourite, and uh, she belonged obviously famously to Paul Allen, and it was involved in some amazing. Uh, some amazing adventures and, and including, but not limited to, James Cameron using it to uh, dive on Titanic. So that was used some of the time for that. Other boats out here, we've got Flying Fox here. Flying Fox, 136 meter, also a lesson. Uh, Flying Fox is uh, the largest um, charter vessel in the world. You, can't, you cannot uh, charter a bigger vessel. It's got room for 25 guests. It's a huge thing, and I, I featured it on my channel. I'll put a link in uh, at some point. And um, yeah, anyway, moving on. So what else have we got out here? What that I can see, we can go Kismet. It's a 95 meter. That's a beauty of a boat as well. That's for sale. We've got Maltese Falcon over here. This, sorry, that's Kismet there. It's, I know it's hard to see, but I'm gonna get some better footage. Unfortunately, these boats are all out here for the duration of the show. So I'm not gonna be able to get any closer. Uh, there's a... Uh, Right out of the back there, you can't. I can't even see it. I know it's there because I checked on marine traffic. It is Polaris as well, which is a the old um, Abramovich vessel. That's a big, big uh, beast as well. 115 meters, I believe, if, I, if memory serves. Actually, that's not multi. There's Maltese Falcon over there. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, and then more importantly, what have we got close up? We've got Dream Boat here. This is a huge thing. These are the big boats. So this is the cruise ship terminal. Uh, as you can see, uh, so I've got access to this already. That's why I came over here because uh, the show um, is locked out. But this part is a public e uh, entry. And then what have we got here? Uh, you probably recognize it from one of my recent videos. This is 106 meter Lurson um, Amadea. Yeah, what a beauty. Anyway, look at the waterfall on the back there, below the name. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, so this is all, see all the chairs and everything? So this is fully decked out. So you can see all the crew up there frantically wiping away, making sure it's perfect condition. And it's all set up like it would be for when the uh, when the box comes on, when the owner comes on, or when the, when it's, you know, if it's a charter boat, when the charter when the charter guests come on. So this is what we get to see, which is great, because you don't normally see this. And normally it's all packed away when they come into port. said 106 meter Lurson. This boat has been for sale for like three years and I think uh, they're, they're, they're trouble, having trouble uh, finding a buyer. Um, I think it's just because it's so massive. There's not actually that many people out there who can afford to buy a vessel of this size. And then we've got behind here we've got another one called Bold which is a brand new yacht. Which Looks like a warship from the front. This peculiar looking thing. Oh. It's got 
huge windows at the side over there, which uh, changes that in the side view. Suppose, this is supposed to have the most efficient hull design to date. Okay, and then here we've got Motia Amadea, which is, uh, which is an impressive looking thing. Looks a bit like a warship. I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go into that in a minute. And um, yeah, so it's a bit cloudy here today. First time I've been to the Monaco Yacht Show and the weather hasn't been perfect. Normally it's blue skies, you know, absolutely um, very hot, actually, like almost 30 degrees. Uh, this year it's like, uh, right now it's about 20 degrees and it's supposed to only gonna get up to about 23 degrees today. So I'm very happy about that. Cause you know, last year I felt a bit underdressed. So this year I'm looking a bit dapper, got my shirt on, got my hair done, got my beard groomed and uh, and uh, I want to I want to try and fit in a little bit more just need a bigger wallet um, but um, yeah so let's get on with this let's get going so I'm just gonna post this as is and then uh, just to let you know that I'm here and to expect more to come so uh, let's do this <laughs> 